Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Science with me. Today we are going to discuss virology. In virology, we study each and every aspect of virus. And in today's lecture, we are going to discuss the discovery, structure, replication, categories, and the shape of viruses. So let's start the video. Before the discovery of virus, the whole world and the scientists only aware that there is a pathogenic agent which causes harmful or infectious diseases and that agent is bacteria. But in 1890s, two scientists D.M. Ivanovsky and Martinus Badgering discovered an unusual infectious agent that causes infection in tobacco plant and the disease called mosaic disease. But the infectious agent was too small and that agent cannot be seen by a light microscope. And one more interesting thing about that agent is that agent can only be grown in media which contain living cells. So the scientists term that infectious agent a virus which comes from a Latin word and the meaning of this word virus is poison. About 10 years later, two other scientists, Felix Drill and F.W. Todd, discovered the same infectious agent. But another interesting thing, interesting fact about that agent is it is a virus that infects bacteria, only bacteria. They call that virus phage bacteriophage so the bacteriophage is the virus which only infects bacterial cells and after the discovery of this bacteriophage the field of modern virology was born so the virus is just a bundle of genetic information which is either dna or rna but never both here we have the structure of virion and now what is this virion? Virion is actually the complete infectious form of virus when the virus is active outside the host cell. This virion is comprised by a nucleic acid which is surrounded by a protein coat which is called capsid. And together this capsid and the genetic material called nucleocapsid. This capsid protects the nucleic acid from any chemical and enzymatic reaction. Some viruses have a lipid bilayer outside the capsid which is called envelope and those viruses which don't contain this envelope are called naked viruses and most of the phages like bacteriophage don't contain this envelope protein. We have another term inert. When we talk about virus this term is usually found inert. Viruses are inert. It means they cannot move around by their own. Viruses are incapable to metabolize and replicate on their own. So they are inert. They require host cell for their replication, for their metabolization and for their survival. Most of the scientists believe that the viruses are non-living outside the host cell, outside the living cell. So they can only survive on the boundary line of living cell. Viruses are obligate intracellular parasite which means they can only survive on the boundary line of living cells. When we talk about the size of virus, these viruses are 10 nanometer in diameter, too small and the, these viruses are 100 to 1000 times smaller than the cells which they infect. So the viruses are non-living without the host body, without the host cell. It requires host cell for its multiplication and metabolic activities. Here we have the normal cell, the host body, which contain Golgi apparatus, ribosomes, the nucleus, which contain DNA, genetic material, and all the required, all the essential microorganisms, which a cell contain. Now, for the for its replication, virus attacks on the host cell. And when the virus hijacks the host machinery, virus needs ribosomes, virus needs enzyme and other cellular components. Now the host cell copies these viruses 
like this. As the virus hijacks the host machinery, the host cell machinery, now the host cell copies these viruses. So this is the process of replication of virus. Now we have the mode of viral categorization. Viruses can be categorized on the basis of nucleic acid. Virus may contain DNA or RNA so we can classify or categorize the virus on the basis of the presence of DNA and RNA. Geometry of genome. Now we have another term genome. Genome is a complete set of genetic instruction. We can also categorize the virus on the basis of geometry, the structure of genome. The genome may be present in the form, in circular form and in linear form. So we can categorize the virus either the gen genome is present in circular form or in linear form. Now the number of strands in genome. We can categorize the virus on the basis of number of strands. The genome may be present in a virus as a single strand or double strands. So this is the mode of viral categorization. Now the virus shape. Viruses fall in three shapes, helical, icosahedral and the complex. This helical virus look cylindrical when viewed in an electron microscope and can either be short, rigid and long and also filamentous. Now icosahedral. This icosahedral look spherical under electron microscope. The complex virus. The complex virus are more complicated virus and trend to vary in shape. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more informative videos.